Hey guys, Josh here, and today I want to talk about this. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now it's that wonderful time of the year where I get to upgrade my phone. I've had my eye on this one for quite some time, so what I'm going to do is get it out of the box. There it is, look at it. I mean, it's huge. This is my S7 in comparison there. It just is lovely and sleek, thin as well. Look at that. Now what I'm really interested in is whether or not the camera on this phone is any good for vlogging. Instead of carrying a big DSLR everywhere with us or instead of using my GoPro or my current phone. I've heard really good things about it so let's go see what it could do. So I've come out to the beach to um, test out the camera capabilities of the Note 8. Everything you see from now on is going to be entirely filmed by the phone. Apart from the shots of the phone, obviously they were not filmed by the phone. So what do we think? Well, first of all, the camera is so easy to use out and about. You just click what you want, different modes and things like that. The cinematography is spot on. It's in your pocket. It's in your pocket all the time. Loads of different modes and things on there. And most of them you can edit inside the Samsung Gallery app itself. Things like slow motion, you can pick sort of when it sort of speeds up, slows down. You can speed ramp it yourself, which is really, really helpful as well. So you can get a good preview before you um, before you sort of take your next shot. The only kind of downside really uh, in terms of vlogging is that in order to get your whole self into the screen, and I know I've got a pretty big head, um, you have to hold it quite far away. Most smartphones, they do crop when they're on video mode, and it, it's the same thing with the Note 8, really. It's not the end of the world, you just have to hold your arm out pretty straight just to get the whole of you into the shot, that's all. I mean, right now, it's the other side of the car for me here, and you can see it, it's fairly cropped in. However, that being said, it's really easy to use for someone who's fairly new to cinematography, and it's amazing that we have this sort of tech in our pockets, really, every day. So, yeah. 10 out of 10 for the cinematography on the Note 8. And I'm really looking forward to what else I can do with this phone. I've only had it for two hours. So um, yeah, there's plenty more to learn yet. Remember guys, if you've liked this video, hit the like button and why not hit the subscribe button? I'm trying to grow my channel a bit at the minute. A friend of mine has challenged me to get 100 subscribers by the end of this year. So um, plenty more to come this year. So why not help me get to that milestone? See you later guys. Yeah.